Hello, welcome to another tutorial for the Realm Management Tool add-on. Today we're going to go through the moderation features, so it could be quite a long video because there's quite a few features, but I will put some timestamps so you can skip to the section you need. And as always, remember there is a wiki if you want to read up the information instead. Um, that's rmt.wiki, and I'll put the link in the description as well. So I've got my alt in here to use as a test dummy. And we'll just go through all the uh, different sections of the menu. To get access to the, the moderation section, you have to have the moderator rank. I'll go through more in-depth information of ranks when we get to the administration tutorial. So going through, uh, first off, there's toggle spy mode. Uh, this is a custom spy, road, spy mode I made, just so some realm owners or world owners might not want their moderators to have operator so i mean that means they can't go into spectator because that is a good um a good spy mode uh, so if you choose to have your moderators as non-operator they can still do everything from this menu so spy modes uh there's a few settings um regarding moderators there's where the set uh, spy mode puts them in creative and back into survival or there is also a setting to the next one which is uh, toggling between survival and creative uh, they are um, in the administration section so I'll go through that in the admin video uh, but toggle spy mode makes us invisible and it also puts our um, scale to zero so it doesn't matter if I'm wearing armor or if I'm holding items because players players won't be able to see me at all um, so that helps uh, without having to quickly take off armor or accidentally holding an item when you're spying on someone and checking what they're doing um so this isn't a spectator this is crea uh, creative so you can have a look around they won't be able to see you and then to turn this back off you just go back into the moderation menu and press the same button again and that'll make you appear uh, so next up is just a simple toggle toggle between survival and creative and as mentioned this is uh, an option that can be disabled if you wanted to uh, so next up we have a couple of tele teleport options uh, this is different to tpa and tp here because it doesn't require someone to accept it's just a straight up teleport to a player or teleport a player to you and there is no cooldown um, so you can just teleport to that player or teleport a player to you i'll just choose tom there we go okay next up is inventory or inventory c uh, this is a way for viewing uh, the inventory of another player uh, so they have to be an online player so it comes up with only online player form excluding yourself uh, so we've got different sections of the inventory we can view uh, we've got the, the standard inventory, so this is the 27 slots, not including the hotbar. Then the hotbar, uh, armor or equipment slots. Uh, so this will include the main hand and, and off hand, so it includes one slot of the inventory, but it will show the main hand. Uh, ender chest, uh, which I'll explain uh, further about how the ender chest works, because it works a little bit differently to these three. And then uh, clear, and the, all these are just simple clearing Inventory, hotbar, armor, and a chest are all. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to further explain uh, that. You just click it and ask for com confirmation to clear that inventory. So, if we view, I don't think there's anything in my alt account uh, inventory, but they do have something in their hotbar. So, we'll view their hotbar. Uh, we can see they've got one diamond in their hotbar and nothing else. Uh, so, we can choose to give items this way because even though this is uh, an empty slot we could choose to say grass block one submit that and that gives them a grass block so now it's in their hand because that's the slot that account has active at the moment and if we go back in and we select inversy select tom and view their hotbar we can now see they've got a grass block in their second slot uh, there's another thing we can do we can uh, take the item so we can choose uh, to take the the whole item stack so this will uh, include all items so uh, if we choose to take it it'll ask if we want to take it 
and then you click yes and I can see I've now got the diamond and they haven't. Now though that works for all three of these inventory types, inventory, hotbar and equipment. Uh, now unfortunately we don't have the same uh, capabilities with the ender chest inventories as we do with normal inventories. So there's no way in the script into access another player's inventory. In, um, there's no way in scripting to access another player's ender chest. So at the moment, it just loops through a uh, ender chest and compares it with vanilla items and sees if it has something in that slot. Now this does mean it won't be compatible with other add-on items, unfortunately, uh, but it just checks if there's how many of a type of item in that slot and it doesn't show item data. So if I go back to uh, view hotbar, and look at a, an item it shows us what item it is how many they've got and if they have any components of that item so enchantment data or durability data that will show up here uh, we can't get that in in uh, ender chest so all, all it does is um goes through checks if there's how many of a type of vanilla item there is and it's just as a as a preview really just in case someone's hidden something there um, so that's it for the inventory. Uh, just to note, I do have an advanced inventory C um, feature that wasn't quite stable for um, for my first release. So I'm going to get it ready for my first update. And this will allow you to view and edit offline player inventories. It will be something that you have to toggle on in the settings, in the administration settings. Um, but keep an eye on the changelog because that will be something coming out in the future um, and it'll be a little bit more advanced um, and it will come with um, an inventory kind of viewer entity which you'll be able to kind of go into see the items as actual items move around uh, take them add more uh, and do all that with online and offline player inventories so going through uh, we have the whitelist so this allows you to add or remove players from a whitelist so when you press add you can add a player's name so i'll just add mine and uh, and it's been added uh, whitelist is off by default otherwise if you added it to a realm and try to join the realm it will kick you uh, so make sure you add your name if you've if you're going to turn it on uh, it's turned on through the admin section um, admins are automatically whitelisted um, and moderators so they can bypass the whitelist system but you want to be able to give yourself the uh, give the you give yourself the rank first before applying the whitelist um, as you can see it's actually a good time it's showing the afk system because the my switch account has been idle for five minutes it switched it over to afk so they now won't receive any play time uh, or any uh, claim chunk rewards and until they start moving again and then they they stop becoming afk with the afk system i'll go through um in, in more detail in the admin tutorial around the settings uh, and, and the features uh, so going through now all to the different punishment types so we have warn kick temp ban and ban uh, and then unban to unban a ban and you can view punishments that that's been issued to a player so a few things to note with these, these all act the same when you click the button it will bring up a menu to type in a reason or give uh, give some data around time so with bans and then when you submit it will give you a confirmation message and send them some information uh, do note with kicks if you try if you kick someone from a local world uh, this is the same with the vanilla slash kick if you kick someone from a local world they can't rejoin until that world's been reloaded uh, that's not the same for realms so they can just rejoin so do do remember that if you are kicking someone on a local world it's it's technically classed as a temp ban until you reload your world uh, so we do a warn and you can choose for online players online players or all players or the search this is um, a menu you've probably seen in a few of the tutorials so we'll just choose tom uh, because we can warn offline players if you have caught someone doing something and you want to warn them so when they come back on they see that warning 
Uh, so we just say you have been warned and submit and you can see we come up with a message saying what the warn is um saying you have been warned and i've generated a a case id uh, this could be used for um for anything that you personally want to link it to you uh, you can't search by the case id but if you view their punishments it, it shows the case id so if someone wanted if you had like an appeal process or something with any of your punishments then you can use that as a reference other than that it's just it's just a reference a particular uh, punishment uh, so uh, the the player uh, received a message as well saying you've been warned for for such and such uh, they don't get told who warned them it just says they've been warned and if we look at punishment data for the player uh, view punishments online players and tom uh, there's been there's been a few tests <laughs> uh, on this character uh, on this um, account so the one i've just done is here uh, so with punishments from the moderator side you we can see who issued the punishment when the player goes into their profile and looks at their punishments they would just see the case id the time and the reason um so that they won't see the moderator and that just prevents um any issues there um uh, and and harassment to to moderators uh, with the kick it asks for the same same thing just ask for a kick reason and it will kick them um i won't do that just so i don't have to reload the world because i am testing on a on a local world same with banning banning does uh, banning just does a kick but it just saves the data um the difference some people might ask why use this kick and not the vanilla kick uh the only difference is is i store the punishment data so then you can look at someone's been kicked before rather than just doing a slash kick it, it in the back end and the bans and the kicks and the whitelists uh, that all does uh, if it's removing someone from from the world or realm it's kicking them uh, so do remember that with with whitelists uh, anyone trying to join if they're not whitelisted they will be kicked if you're choosing to turn the whitelist off you're gonna have to um gonna have to reload the world if it's a world uh, so with bans, so you've got temp ban and ban, um, and I recommend using temp ban uh, not just from a, uh, a best practice sense, but bans will permanently ban them from your world or realm. Always, uh, if you if you're on a realm, always remove players from the the realm list, uh, block them uh, if you're banning them from from local worlds, but uh, this will prevent them from joining even if you're if you're public uh one thing to be wary of with full permanent bands uh which is this one here is all their player data gets deleted when they're banned because you're choosing to never have them back so there is no point me storing that data and keeping your data storage up um or waiting for the uh for the the purge to come round and purge their data because that uh, that could be in a while so all the data gets uh, gets deleted except the ban, except the perm ban. So it will just, any previous punishments, any claims, any uh, uh, chest locks, um, anything associated with them. Uh, if they've got any holograms placed, it won't delete any holograms, uh, but, you, but no one other than admins and moderators will be able to edit them. So if you feel... You don't want them anymore you can go and get rid of them so with the temp ban you can choose the uh, uh with uh, both bands you can choose online or offline and this just asks for a ban reasoning and then you have to supply a number for days hours or minutes so if you want to ban them just for 10 minutes you just put 10 in in the minutes and you can leave the days and hours alone uh same with hours and same with um same with days right as with the with the permanent ban that just asks you if you want to ban them uh yes or no uh, so it won't even allow you to to choose a a reason because it's not going to store that 
that full reason it's just gonna store being permanently banned and every other data has been deleted uh, it's just to minimize data so that if you're going to permanently ban some someone you probably want to take a, a separate note of why you did it okay with unban you can choose a player that unfortunately tom hasn't had an unban or my uh my autocar hasn't had a ban so i can't unban them so it's just a simple click if they've had a ban it will unban them it will remove it will set any temporary bans to uh inactive so it'll just reduce the time so it's now no longer an active ban uh, and it will remove uh permanent bans so but it shouldn't really be you shouldn't really be unbanning permanent bans unless it was a really big mistake so it's always best to give a long temporary ban uh just to be sure and then once you're definitely sure that you don't want them on on the realm or world anymore just permanent ban them and, and block and remove them from uh, the, the the realm members list so that is all the moderation features on the menu so uh, that was actually quicker than i thought so i should see you in the next tutorial